page 32, Kumbaya. And we're giving you some more music to cover what you've already learned. So you get some practice before they start throwing more stuff at you. That's nice. So let's try Kumbaya. There's nothing new in here. A few little things I'd like to point out. I'm going to start with the right hand. Right at the beginning, notice the fingering. Because you're in this position, except the fingering tells you you're in this position. Because you have a 2 on the B and the uh, fourth finger on the D. So you're in that position. Look at the end of the line on the first line. Last two notes. Now it's a third finger. And fifth. Now you're in this position. So you're moving around between these two positions. Just so you're aware of it. It's really not a problem. I just, you need to be aware of that's happening. Third line down. In the third measure over, you're playing that whole note with the fourth finger. It's tied to a, a half note in the next measure. That would be, they're telling you now play the C with fourth finger again. We're already using fourth finger. You can get away with it because according to the words, there's a phrase break there and you, you want a little bit of silence anyway. So to lift your hand up, to move it, gives you that silence and so you can do that if you want. It's unnecessary though because if he, you can play the C with third finger, we still want the silence. You lift up and use third finger and then second finger on the B, the next measure, and then thumb and then second finger again for the A's. And that works fine. You can whichever fingering you want to use, I'm just suggesting it. You look at it and see what you think. That's about it. For the phrasing, as I said, follow the words and phrase it according to the words. If you want to sing it, sing it. You'll notice there's a first and second ending on the fourth line down. I've already explained all those. Hopefully I don't need to explain them again. However, you'll notice the reverse repeat sign up at the top is not at the beginning. It's two notes later. So this is important because when you get to the end of the first ending and you repeat, you don't go back to the beginning you go back to the reverse repeat sign. The first measure is a pickup measure because there's only two beats in it, but the last measure only has two beats in it, so oh, oh, we put them together and we're, we're good. As far as the left hand goes, you just got these chords. You've had them before. The G chord, C chord, the D7 chord, right? You can do those and that's about it. Melodies in the right hand, bring out the melody. That's what we want to hear. Let's play it together slowly so you make sure you got the right rhythm and the right notes. Now there's recordings of this all over the place so you shouldn't need me to play it for you. It may not be this arrangement. You don't need this arrangement. You just need to know how the song basically goes. And you play these notes and you've got it. So put your hands where they go, wherever they go. Mm -hmm. I'll give us two counts and we'll begin. Ready, go. Four, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Four, two, 